Okay, what we're going to tie here is a uh, Torrance Tormentor uh, Scandinavian style tube in pink and black on a Pro Tube. Let's get her started. Take your Pro Tube, slide it over the Pro Tube needle. I've already pre cut the junction tube. These are 4040s and you cut them to length. Get your thread started. And then I'm going to dub on some ice wing and fluorescent pink. And this is the butt. And I'll tie the tail in, which is fluorofiber and hot pink. Pushing that right up against that dubbing to stand up the tail real well. Next we've got some Lagerton Polo Silver flat braid, a mini flat braid. Get that secured in. This is going to be the back half of the body. Give it a little bit of flash. Um, next we're going to make a loop Lay that off to the side. That's going to use to uh, lay a ice wing hackle in there that will spin and use to polymer over the front half of the body, which will be black UV ice dub. You'll look at this and go, well, it's got purple or blue in it. Well, it does. It looks like that, but you put it underwater, it gets down a couple feet, and it changes. It's a real popping color of black. So don't worry that it's got kind of a funky sheen to it. It changes when it gets in the water. And while I'm trying to do it, this is create contrast. And you'll see when we put the palm or the hackle over this. Now what, what's really gotten you going on these tubes, Tony? I mean, you've tied flies for years, and I know that you're, you're, you're pretty into these things. Well, you know, I'm a tinkerer by nature anyway. I can't, I'm always looking for something new to mess with. And a lot of things come and go. You mess with them a while. It's like, oh, that was kind of neat at the time. And um, and then you realize, no, it wasn't so hot. You know, yeah, it catches fish. Well, the thing about these tube flies is they're, um, as soon as you hook the fish, the hook pops out of the tube and the fly moves up away from it. So you've got a short shank hook that creates no leverage against the fish's mouth. So your landing rate goes way up. Yep. And you can change a hook out in a moment's notice if you ding a tip or, you know, you dull it up. It just changes the game. It, it's just much more efficient. Plus, I mean, some of these really some move. of these flies are pretty big too. I mean, you're kind yeah. of getting. Yeah, some of them are. You can you can taper them, you can size them down, just by adjusting the amount of material applied to the tube. So you know you have an infinite size range with them. Um, you know, in summer you go smaller, you take away some of the weight and stuff. In winter you go a little bit bigger, a little flashier. So I've got angel hair cut. I'm going to lay this in my thread here. This is my loop, and I have this waxed so it grabs and holds this material, and I spread it out. Make sure that your material is perpendicular to your thread. Spin it. I love this tool. If you don't have one of these, you need one. They're a, uh, Marcos out of Hairline is making them, and they're um, heavy brass, and they just spin so nice to do this type of tying. So that stuff splays out. I've got my hackle. So I'm going to palmer this, spreading it out so that black shows through. And there's that hackle. Okay. Now, I'm going to lay in my pink wing which is Arctic Fox. Make sure you comb the hair out in the bottom. I'm 
and keep your wings sparse. You want them to move. You don't want them to be a big clump of material sitting on top of there. Next I'm going to grab some ice wing in fluorescent pink. I'm going to lay that on, make a few wraps, pull it back over. Oh, that stuff has such a nice shine to it. And then I'm going to take my pink hackle that's all prepped and ready to go. Tie the tip in first. Palmer that through, or not palmer, but tie it collar style, excuse me. Each, you'll notice each time I make a turn here, I'm pulling those fibers back on the stem to get them to lay back. Okay. Next wing is Fin Raccoon. And you like that for the length? I like it for the length, and it's um, this stuff kind of puffs up in the water. So the length is definitely beneficial because I want this to extend back past that first. Cut the butt off on that. And this stuff compresses really nicely, too. Now, a little black ice wing for the topping. Now you'll see a lot of these flies tied with um, ostrich hurl on the top, and I do that as well to get a little more length. We'll have one I think that we're going to do that's going to have that in it. I tie this material in the center and then pull it back over itself. Okay, and then I take my scissors and just kind of feather it over the top, and it gives that length. Now, this stuff really swims in the in the water and that's the advantage over these with these tube flies, this Scandinavian style of tube. The material really pulsates. Next we're going to put a little jungle cock eye on each side. I usually lay those where I want them and you'll see it on the other side here. Get them in position and you grab them and slide them back and forth until you get them right where you want them. Now what keeps um the fly riding properly. The hook. Now the Arctic Fox itself has buoyancy. The guard hairs hold air. That's part of the purpose of them and trying to keep that critter warm as well as the underfur. And they all have some amount of air in them so the, the wing itself is going to make it ride up. But when you put the hook in here the hook's going to come down and we're going to cover hooks here today and you'll see them on the posted at some point uh, on the blog. So now I've got my jungle cock on and I'm just going to trim off these. So now I've got my jungle cock laid in there. I'm going to whip finish this off. Grab my cone and grab my zappa gap. Lay a little bit all the way around on the threads. This is a hot pink cone. Chris has them in here in the shop and they fit these pro tubes. This is not actually a pro tube cone. I think he will have the pro tube cones, won't you, in the mm -hmm. tank and stuff. So you can do it. But this tube, uh, this cone will work on this tube as well. I was messing around with some stuff I already had. And so you've got your black and pink tormentor. So now I'm going to slide that off of there. Trim this, leaving just a stub out beyond the tube or the cone, excuse me. Use the blue part of the flame. Just keep getting it close to there. And melt it right up against. Okay. So that's there. Next I'll trim my junction tubing to length. And there's a black and pink tormentor.